how Jesus sent the disciples to minister in his name, and also the disciples returned to Jesus after work. Mark Gospel tells that Jesus sent out the twelve, the twelve were selected among, among the disciples, and they called apostles. It means uh, uh, the one who is sent by Jesus Christ. And the twelve is a symbolic number because it represents the twelve tribes of Israel. And also the name twelve apostles, Jesus chose his mission to be in continuity with the mission of God's people to Israel. That Christ, the Son of God, could, could have spread his gospel of peace and love to all people from different generations. generations. And this message of eternal salvation has come to be part of our human, our human calling to, to uh, be set out by Jesus Christ to proclaim His mighty love and kindness to others. As the Lord uh, called the twelve, He calls us every day to go out wherever you are and proclaim the gospel of Christ. How do you feel about the calling? How many times will the Lord calls us and send us out to do something for being a Christian? Church, what did you respond to that call? Do you feel joyful to do that? Or you might say, oh, I'm not really doing it. I'm not really there for that. He says, For that. Whatever those thoughts are, uh, the Lord uh, reminds us that He's the one who gives us the authority and the power in our hearts and our lives <clears throat> to preach the gospel. That's what happened with the, with the apostle. They were doing good things. They were anointing people and also uh, visiting people in their homes and people may accept it then, people may not accept it then. But whatever they experience, they were doing that for God's kingdom. Why is that important to us the Catholics nowadays to proclaim Christ's love? Because even though we are being baptized and being Catholics, but out there in our culture, in our society, it's very hard sometimes to hear the voice of the one who calls us and to do God's work in our lives. We are the ones who have been chosen by Christ to do so. First, you have to receive that gospel of Christ in your heart and say to the Lord, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for calling me to be a very man, a very woman, a teenager, a priest, a community, and I do whatever you want to do. First, in your family, yes, as a married couple, to plant a seed of love, kindness, to your friends, perhaps somebody who is sick. You can call a friend, hey, Mary, how are you? How are you? I'm going to call you to do it I want to come to you to pray with you. And can I do that? You see that? We do that on a daily basis. This is nice in our lives. We read someone or your friends or co workers has an issue of problem. You can say, I'm okay, I'm sorry, I'm telling you, whatever. I want to pray for you. This going to be better for you. You know, trust me this way. You see this? We have done those things already. But we have to have that conviction and that certainty that in those moments, the Lord calls us to speak on His behalf. <clears throat> this is who we are. That is our vocation. That is our calling to be a disciple of Christ. And a disciple of Christ is someone who recognizes that all the things come from Jesus. That we are His people. That we are called to imitate Christ and to follow His commands and be an example of Him. Jesus Christ, Christ, you probably sometimes so hard to do so. It's a nice when we are busy in life, you know, we have to work, we, we have our responsibilities, our commitments. There is nothing wrong with that. Even though in those circumstances, the Lord calls us. There's an excuse. And anything that we do, if we are Christians, we are called to testify that we are Christians by the way how 
we love and do good to others. The second reading to uh, to um, to Paul of Ephesians, he said that to us. Blessed be the God of Father of Jesus Christ who has blessed us. Yes, he has given so many blessings in our lives. And those blessings that we receive help us to really do Jesus Christ's work in one another. The lacking of those blessings in our lives doesn't help us to do his mission, to speak on his behalf, and to bring his kindness and love to one another. And a person that I can put it to say, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without merit before him, in love he is us for adoption, for he said to Jesus Christ, before that, we have been baptized in Christ, we come to the Holy Eucharist every Sunday, to receive Christ because our hearts and our minds are longing for his presence, for his truth, and for his love. We are only recipients of him. And to those uh, those communion with Christ, our hearts be in communion with him. And not only that, uh, help us to begin what we have received. When you receive the Holy Eucharist, which is the greatest blessing that we can receive as Catholics. He entered into our lives. He penetrates into our lives and he helped us to grow in wisdom, knowledge, love, kindness, and patience. To be holy and peace. To be kind and peace. To be compassionate and peace. To empathize those who are in need, those who have issues, those who are sick, those who can really be connected to us. The more we pray and ask for those blessings, the more Christ that will be given to us. They might see us not only by our name or by our title, they see us that we are Christians in Christ's sight. By the way, how we can see and show to others that Christ is alive and He lives in our hearts to one another. The question is, why is it so difficult to do that? What things prevent us to do it? Can be many things, like in our faith, like in our trust, like in our prayer, maybe good things before Jesus Christ. Whatever those things are, we need to pray for those things. And ask Jesus Christ to make us live together with Him. Pray for unity in our church, in our families, in our country. Because the lacking of that love is what we need as a get us to see Christ's discipleship among us because of this. Whatever is in your heart, that speak to you of Jesus Christ. What kind of disciples you are. How you want to bring Jesus Christ's word to you and to others. Maybe the first time that you might know how to do it. That is nothing wrong with that. Many the disciples, they didn't know it. They didn't get it. But they persevered in prayer and know Jesus. So they were able to understand who Jesus Christ was. And who were they are disciples? The same thing to us. So we gather together around this holy table. At 4 30 at the church. Because the Lord is speaking to us, He reminds us, I know where you come from, wherever you are, you are my brother and son. You are my disciple. I call you to always proclaim this gospel of Christ to your light. To your heart, to your mouth, to your mind. And if not you are me, what is worthy, it is needed. It is needed. Because I believe in your heart that this Christ is the one who came to 
bless you, when you can use the Holy Eucharist, whatever it is you are longing the most, whatever you think the most, ask Jesus Christ in this Holy Communion to make us to be one with Him, to make us to be a better disciple, a better person, a better priest, a better husband, a better wife, a better community, that we all together with the Holy Spirit, do this work and bring that in our